anyways, so um, this is what the drums sound like. Bass drum. Punchy, punchy, punchy. Punch, but still a nice low end. So I can play soft. And still get a nice low end. I don't want to play loud. I'll get a really nice high pitched punch. And it's still very dynamic, so there's hardly, there's not much compression on it and no. Um, uh, gate. That's very important. So you can also play very soft and dynamic patterns. It's important to me to be able to play dynamic uh, bass drums, but also kind of, you know, more intricate patterns and get enough click and punch and attack from the bass drum to hear every stroke when I'm play, playing faster notes. Still want to be able to hear and for it to translate. You know, when I'm playing double stroke rolls and things like that. I still want to be able to hear attacks. But I don't want it to sound so metal that I can't do sort of your generic all around session. Snare drum, I use, this is a beautiful six and a half inch aluminum DW snare drum. It has an amazing crack, really pronounced. drum, great side stick sound, beautiful. My tom tom, 8, a 14, so that's a 10, a 14, a 16, 14 by 14, so these two are square sizes, beautiful, fat, low. Still nice attack. I can play fast. And not um, get kind of that floppy, warbly sound. Um, again, 10 inch rack. And here is, a, of course, a, um, a rata tom. This is a, a 6 by 18 inch rata tom. Uh, it's great for sort of percussive really unique sounding drum that has quite a low bar considering that it's such a, such a small diameter. And, and that's it, those are the drums. Uh, the cymbals, all minor. It's a very nice sort of trashy but dry ride. The Bison series, my brilliant Bison uh, 17 inch crash. 18 inch uh, jazz crash. To extra dry Byzance. Love it. So much attack, it's just a beautiful, fun symbol to play. Uh, my signature hats, they're very high pitched, very, very precise. And I use them mainly when I play double bass patterns. So I 
always have a nice, tight, close sound, hi-hat sound right here. And I use this third hi-hat. So I can play a little hi-hat variations. Just here on this uh, side of the kit. And I get ambient, ambience and panorama-wise, I get a really nice sort of lift-heavy hi-hat um, world, if you, realm, if you like. So I like to have a hi-hat here on my right and one on my left and one on my far left. So in the stereo panorama of the recording, I can put this one basically in the middle, which is my main hi-hat. For all the groove playing. And if I want to play variations or fills or something that are more subtle, I use the outer two hi-hats. And in the stereo panorama, it sounds really cool, I think, to have sort of the main hi-hat in the middle. And then if you have a little effect, it comes from here or from over there. So it's a really interesting So uh, I think that's uh, my kit mainly. I use all Remo heads of course. In this case I use a combination of the CS dot on the snare and coded ambassadors on the toms. Usually uh, when I play live I use uh, clear emperors because uh, they're a little more robust and I use very beefy fat sticks. This is my signature stick. It's a heavy, thick, beefy stick. So I need heads that last a long time. Um, and uh, that's it. I can show you what the kit sounds like with brushes because I just did some recordings with brushes. And uh, it's a nice sort of ambient feel. Anyways, um, that's, uh, that's that, and what else is here?